This video shows how to create a brand new voice thread by uploading media. So over in Blackboard, I created my voice thread link. I clicked it for the first time as the instructor. I waited, voice thread launched, and now here I am on that screen. I see when I'm setting up a voice thread link for the first time with the three blue buttons that I can choose from. I explained the other two in another video. I generally always use the individual voice thread option that points to a single voice thread. So rather this time than using an existing voice thread, I'm going to come up here and select the option create new voice thread. And when I do that, I'm prompted to upload my media. Uh, in this example, I'm going to upload, um, I've got the portrait of a graduate icon saved in a folder on my desktop. So I'm uploading five images to start with. I could just as easily upload a PowerPoint or a PDF or uh, any number of files. Uh, you can check out the VoiceThread documentation for what file types VoiceThread can consume. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, click Add Media from my computer. Give you a moment to look at some of the other options. But I have them saved in a folder on my desktop, so I'm going to select my computer. And so on my desktop, I have this folder of POG icons, and I hold, I'm going to hold down the Shift key and select all five and open. And they are processed and all brought in to this voice thread. And you give it a title. I'm recording this on April 4th, so I'll name it 404. Here on this screen, next tab, I could also set the playback options. I'm going to talk about these in a separate video about playback options. I can also add cover art that um, kind of like a thumbnail that shows in the beginning, but I'll just give it a name and save. So I've done step one. My media has been uploaded. Uh, before I go on, if you wanted to add some more things, you could use this plus at the end, add media. Again, you can upload another image file from your computer or, or a PDF. You could have the five POG and then your uh, PowerPoint slides would be added. Uh, in a separate practice activity, I should talked about showed how to uh, I talked about uploading a YouTube video. If you wanted to do that, you would select URL. So let me show that real quick. So I've got a, a video in YouTube, one of the FCPS Portrait for Graduate videos. You know, I am a communicator. And so I'm going to use that URL. I'm going to copy that. Control C, copy. And then over here in VoiceThread, I click the plus. I select URL and just paste it in and save. And depending on the length of the video, it'll take a while to process. I'm not going to uh, wait for that to be finished before I go on. So, but that's adding media to your VoiceThread. If you wanted to comment, you could do that right now, but I can always do that later. Do that right now by clicking on one of those slides. So it would take up the full screen. I have that little plus in the middle, lower, bottom, middle, center of the screen where I can add, record an audio comment, add, type in a text comment, that kind of thing. But this is the mo most importantly, step three, share with class. When you click this share with class button, that's when that link from that Blackboard class gets tied to this particular voice thread. So everything looks good. Just click that blue button, share with class. That voice thread has been shared with my class, so I can return to my course. I'll use the uh, breadcrumb trail. So now from my Blackboard class, I click the voice thread link the second time. The same thing happens when a student clicks it. We wait, voice thread launches. And once that link is set up, it works. But you have to do that initial first step. You have to do that initially as a teacher for that voice thread to work. So when I'm a student clicks that link, they're taken to the voice thread, the slide one. Remember the bottom button here shows all the slides. Oh, good. Look, my video has finished processing. So I could go through there's slide one. 